Hello? Yeah, that should be everyone. Okay, good. <clears throat> Alright, is this everyone? Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is everyone. Start. It looks like uh, Challenger is actually AFK, I think. Oh my gosh. Oh. I haven't tasted it before, so I don't know. My bedtime is 9, let's start. <laughs> Quote of the tournament right there. I'm already breaking curfew. Can okay, there we go. <clears throat> Champion select, finally. Mm -hmm. um, is that stream even on? Is the stream on? Oh, they can hear us, okay. Shout out to Tim Cho. Hey, Tim. Please. Okay, we send Ben away first by, uh, which team? This is Team is Azure Shield. Shield. Yeah. Uh, I find it interesting that they ban Lee Sin over banning Jarvin, because I feel like he's stronger right now. It might just be because they researched their jungler and they, he's banned Lee Sin. Mm -hmm. There's a Sandra ban coming out from Chinese remainder team. Um, that's a pretty good flex pick for mid and top. Uh, I haven't seen, uh, I actually haven't seen Team Azure Shield play yet. So I don't know what their favorite champions are. Maybe it's Target Pen. I, I know, uh, oh, what? I know, uh, on the Chinese remainder team, they really like, uh, Volley Bear as a jungler. They played that against us in our game. And they literally played it once. They played it once. Well, there's the Volley Bear ban. <laughs> there is the Volley Bear ban. <laughs> so stupid. Yeah, I, yeah. I think that's a very bad specific ban, as Volibear isn't that useful in, per se, besides the one flip. No, Volibear, they just built an entire team around Volibear last time. They just had the, uh, I believe it was Karma, Janna, and Sivir combo with the Volibear tank. And Lulu. And Lulu, yeah. Just, oh. I mean, hey, if it ain't broke, straight to that no, the thing is, even if they started building that, they, it's very easy to counterpick. I don't know why they banned Volibear. Bear. All right, let's see the Thresh first pick Ooh. from Challenger, uh, Mato Watson. That's an interesting first pick. Uh, I realize that these teams don't really trade. I don't think they uh, go into any in-depth pick and ban phase strategy. They they just uh, pick for themselves. I think. So that's fair. Yeah, no, I don't think they really care about that. Yeah. <laughs> The Urigot hover? I want Tom Lurie. I believe he did this last time too. Oh yeah, he definitely did. Urigot, Teemo. Let's see. I think the J4 might actually get logged done. Victor? May? Um, I don't think so. Yep. Ooh, J4 hey, we have and the J4 and Vi. The J4 is probably going to go top or mid. Probably top. He's a very strong laner, to be sure. He, it looks like he's going to take Ignite as well. He can choose someone really easily at level 2 or 3, so... Um, or do see. you think we could see the very specific J4 Leona bot lane? <laughs> no, I don't think so. We see a J summer by Spirit Claimer 99. Um, J4 actually does a pretty good job against uh, Jarvan, because he can just knock him away after he engages. Oh, cool. Vista gets locked in by Trifix, and the Jace does get locked in as well. So we see the bottom lane coming out from Team Azure mid, the Kalista Thresh. Let's see what Chinese and Master E comes up with. I think that's pretty questionable, considering they already have. Vi and Jar J4. Janna may as well be locked in, but I think that they will switch it out soon. I think it'll be interesting to see if Challenger and Trollface swap champions, and whether they want to run the ADC with Exhaust. I've seen that a few times for dueling in the late game, but... I don't know. <laughs> the Kali makes much more sense to me than the Mastery. 
If you focus too much uh, AD, you're just gonna get uh, counterbolt very easily. So we do see the Jinx and the Janna lane. That's a very strong lane. I, I do like that combo. <clears throat> you get the extra AD from the Gen Shield and you can poke at really long range with the rockets. And with a Maokai coming in from XBJO. Hmm, Maokai. You think that's gonna go top lane? That's pretty. I think that's gonna go jungler. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. I like that Maokai is having a good deal of tankiness so that Jason and Callista can sit from the back line and poke a little more. But if it's in the jungle. I don't know, I'd like to see their last pick. He does have a good uh, ganking prep. He does have a fair bit of ganking pressure with his snare and slow. <clears throat> and the knockup, so we see the little block also being hovered. Maokai does get locked in. And this little is probably gonna go in mid lane. That is. And that does basically solidify Maokai in the jungle against the Vi, most likely. Um, actually, Maokai is pretty susceptible to early invades, I, I think, because he he most likely is going to start sapling and start stacking that, but if they do get invaded, he's not going to have any form of CC. And we see the Zir coming in from the Balkan. Just a, a quick quick question, can Callista dash out of Jar J4's ultimate? Yeah, he can. yeah, she can. Okay. If they lock in the Azir, there's a fair bit of uh, pressure on Chokes with Jarvan and Azir if they can lock people up and just let him go to town on those soldiers and the okay. AoE rockets and go. Jinx. I really like the team comp from CRT. Um, every match I see from them, they have they seem to have a pretty good understanding of their team composition, like the synergy that each champion brings to the table. Um, from the side of Team Azure Shield, I think they're just, just trying to, um, their, their team fighting potential is not that high, but I think they're just going to go for a lot of picks with the Woodblock and the Maokai Snare. They can, they can lock down someone pretty, pretty well, so we see the pick game coming in from Team Azure Shield and the team fighting uh, game from uh, Chinese Remainer team. Challenger and Trollface do swap their champions, so we don't get to see a Callista with Exhaust, which would have been fun. Okay, so it is going to be the top lane, Jarvan. Um, I actually, I actually have seen quite a bit of Jarvan mid lane, so I wouldn't have been that surprised. Uh, Jarvan does do well against the squishy like champions like LeBlanc. Very good cheese, level two and level three, like I said before. So as we wait for the delay to come, um, who do you think is going to take this one? At the moment, based on the team comp, the uh, Chinese remainder team just has such a better team fight as opposed to Azure Shield. I'd have to give it to them. Okay, and Nihar? Yeah, once again, I'd go with Chinese remainder team. Just because, once again, their team their team comp is like superior, plus I also believe that they can win in, in, uh, in lane. So I think individually they'll also they'll do pretty well, and even as a team they'll do pretty well. But of course the game can still go to anyone. We're not we can't be sure just yet. So be sure to in the Twitch chat to type a uh, hashtag uh, T A S H win or hashtag C R T win. All right, we have around two minutes left. Um, <clears throat> I want to talk about that match up in the bot lane. So we did see the Thresh being picked very early on as a high priority champion. Um, do you think it's because... No, actually no. I think that Kalista Thresh lane is actually a pretty good lane, but I would have liked to see Trollface go for that Annie. Because Annie Kalista is actually a very tried and true uh, burst potential. It's a very strong lane in general. I would have liked to have seen that from Trollface, but he does go for the Thresh, so he, that does mean that Challenger gets to proc his W passive in lane a bit more. Um, but we do have the Jenna on the other side of the matchup for the really nice engage, I mean disengage. And Jinx, I think, will scale a bit, a bit better than Kalista, so if they hold out in lane, um, I think they will come out on top, Chinese remaining team. 
Yeah, I think early game, uh, Azure Shields, bot lane, just in terms of champions, might have the chance to have more burst and win some of the early trades. But late game, just the sheer utility and disengage that Janna has and the damage scaling that Jinx has outweighs that. Okay. I actually find it interesting that they left Gnar up and didn't lock it in with J4 and decided instead to go with Vi and J4. I with a, what you call it, card. Well, Diamond was going top lane, so that kind of took away the Gnar pick from that. <laughs> the the J4 and Vi combination is actually uh, very strong. I remember back in, like, I believe it was Season 3 when Draven was actually a pretty common top laner. That specific duo was actually a very good dive buddy system. Um, you just ulti with Vi, EQ, on top of that knockup from Vi. That, that's like a chain knockup into the Draven ultimate that's basically a dead squishy. And they, the uh, since Team Azure Shield actually locked in Thresh first rotation, they didn't have the chance to counterpick with Morgana with a black shield, who is actually very strong against the uh, Darwin and the Vi. So I I'm kind of surprised that they first picked the Thresh. Mm -hmm. We'll right. see how that Thresh pick turns out, because you seem to have very many reservations about it. Yeah, <laughs> I just don't. Yeah, I think Morgana would have been a very, a, mu a much better pick in this. Specific team comp. Now, what build do you think uh, Jan is going to take? Do you think she's going to build your favorite item in the game, uh, Magi Soul Stealer? <laughs> uh, um, I wouldn't be surprised if she did. I, actually, Jana just needs to watch out for the LeBlanc because LeBlanc loves squishy champions, like squishy supports. Like for example, I remember uh, back in the day, whenever there was a Zyra support, LeBlanc would be like insta locked in solo queue because it's like free feed. Um, Jenna is a bit more durable than Zara, but she's still a very easy target for LeBlanc to 100 to 0. Um, I don't know if she'll go for that Magi Soul Stealer. Maybe if she starts stumbling in lane, but I think the Mikhail's might need to come out of her for the uh, in order to help Jinx stay alive a bit more. And we load on to the Rift right now. I'm I'm actually very excited to see the Azir versus LeBlanc matchup because that's a very uh, skill dependent matchup. Azir does tend to outpoke LeBlanc in lane as he does with most matchups, but LeBlanc does have the kill pressure on him. Well, we also should remember that uh, LeBlanc is very bursty, while Azir does have a bit of some sustain. You mean sustained damage? Yeah, sustained damage. Okay. <laughs> Uh, Zero has no in kit sustain besides the shield on the E. Which is not a sustain at all. Okay. Let's see what uh, level 1 paths the junglers decide to take. Um, on the side I don't of really... Team your Shield, uh, the Maokai seems to be heading towards the enemy red buff. Nope, he's just yeah. going to stay in the bush. Well, there, there were some pings in the enemy red buff, near the enemy red buff, too. So. Uh, it looks like Jarvan's going to see that coming in. If that does happen. Yep. Um, XBJO just puts a ward by his own blue buff entrance. He's afraid of that uh, steal. I'm really liking the ward coverage by Chinese remainder team. They really don't want to see an invade going on. Mm, yeah. Yeah, it just looks like we'll have standard starts. Mm -hmm. No lane swaps. As expected. Um, Denominator 97 opting to go for that Gromp buff first. I really want to see him gank that uh, that Jace at least level three or four, because if Jarvin starts to snowball on the Jace, there's very little that Jace can do to come back. Although, although high high one two three one two four seven three started with the crystalline flask. Um, that does mean he's going to lose a lot of kill pressure in lane. He's I I, I don't agree with that safe start, but uh. Let's see how it turns out. XBJO just stacking those saplings on the